All right, this is a quick demo of um, of having a rim, of putting a rim on a top of a beehive. Your standard Langstroth hive with 10 frames and all that jazz. Um, the rim has um, three holes in it. And I used to use this rim uh, in the wintertime when I was putting sugar in the hive or when I needed to put something over the top bars that I needed, like, you know, three or four inches to make room for whatever it was. And that's my original intent behind building a, um, a rim. And it originally, for that purpose, had just, just one hole drilled in the middle, and that was the entrance hole for the, for the bees. And, um, and I've been using that rim for a long time. And, uh, but this year I decided to put the rim on um, and drilled two holes on each side so that the bees during the peak of the nectar flow wouldn't be so crowded trying to push themselves in and out of one single hole on top because although there's a, a huge bottom entrance down there, they never use it. it they, they totally prefer the top entrance. It seems the bottom entrance is for... Um, nurse bees and drones and things but mostly the the foragers are coming and going from the top and um, <clears throat> so anyway the standard thing was I had just one hole right here in the middle and man it got so crowded it was it was just insane I thought okay this is not good it's gonna get congestion it's gonna encourage swarming conditions all that fun stuff so was, I saw on um, honeybeesweet.com a photo of a hive with a rim and the rim had three holes in the top and I thought why isn't everybody doing this how this I mean it's probably uh, nothing new but it's new to me because I live uh, on an island in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean where not very many people keep bees not many of them communicate with, with each other because they usually live very far away from each other and a great deal of at least hobbyist beekeepers in Newfoundland are also mentorless beekeepers. They're they're working without a net. You know, they're on their own, and and that's largely where I have been. And uh, so this may be something that's obvious, but because I'm a generally a mentorless beekeeper, not really in uh, communication with directly with face on you know face on face or one on one with. Uh, <laughs> With uh, other beekeepers, I, I don't I don't pick up on these things. These may be obvious things. I just never learn them, and this is probably one of those things. But uh, you know, in, in the winter in the winter time, I can just put a cork or something else in the hole, like so. And if they just need to defend one entrance, say when the robbing is happening or anything like that, I just plug them up like that. Now I'll just unplug it here. That's it, they're back, back in business. But when the honey flow is kick, kicking in high and the population is exploding and they need a lot of room, and you can tell when they need more room because the, the, the single hive hole is just blocked with bees all the time, then yeah, three holes are better than one. Provides some extra vent ventilation, gives them quicker and easier access to their honey stores to come in and drop their honey and do their work and do their thing. And uh, it's simple, but kind of brilliant. And I can see what, how that would work in the wintertime as well. I don't know if I would have it on a hive that was making fresh comb, like a, like a, like a nuke or anything like that, because you'd probably get lots of bur comb on top. But right now, these guys are past building bur comb, and they're not, I don't think they're building any bur comb above the, the top bars in that extra space. And if they are... Ah, well, it's not a big, not the end of the world. Um, so this, this is a little, little thing, three holes, uh, with a rim, in a rim, and I think it's brilliant. Um, I, I, I wish I'd, I'd done this all along. This is going into year seven of my beekeeping as a hobbyist beekeeper, and this is one of these another little things that I love. Um, I'm sure everybody else knows about it except me, but here it is in case you don't know about it either. And. Uh, the other thing is too. There's a, there's technically a, a fourth entrance right here, 
um, because this is a, a it's a thick inner cover, and it's in what's called the summer position, which um, isn't really. And a lot of hives, like, and I think I would have had my hive set up like this when I first started beekeeping. This is all I would have had. I would have had a, uh, a bottom entrance, which sometimes the bees use and sometimes they don't. And in this case, they hardly ever touch it. And I'd have one top entrance underneath the, uh, the inner cover in what's called a summer position, which means it's, it's sort of upside down, um, or maybe right side up, depending on the season. But... Anyway, there's a hole right there, the entrance, in, and, and then they walk along that, that entrance hole. They come down halfway through to the, uh, the rim, and then go down the hole in the middle of the rim, or in the middle of the rim, in the middle of the inner cover, and then they have to access the, to access the hive. So they've got to come in through here, and go, and that's a... That's adding more time and more of a walk for them to access the hive. And here you can see there's, there's, still, there's still one or two coming and going from that location. But by and large, they went quicker access, and they're using the, the, the holes that are right there. Um, so these holes in a rim, um, as well as providing extra ventilation, provides quicker access for the bees to get into the, to the hive. They can come and go much faster. And I think it's, you know, it, this sort of falls in line with the same idea of putting holes in your honey supers. Some people would have three or four honey supers, and depending on your location. And just they would drill hole, um, holes in honey supers and just so that the bees don't have to climb from the top all the way down into the honey supers. They just go right directly into it. Um, and that's what that's what's happening here. I mean, this is essentially a hole in the honey super because I, I only have one honey super on top. But uh, anyway, um, point is the rim is uh, with the three holes in it is pretty good. And once they don't use, need those three holes for what, any reason, I just plug them up, and I only put it use one hole. And I can see how that would work all year round, and come in very handy during the winter when you need to drop in emergency feed and things like that. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I also have a moisture quilt on top for an empty moisture quilt, which is essentially a, a ventilation rim. And I think that's also key to um, maintaining a healthy hive it's in the summer or the winter. But uh, anyway, that's my thoughts on uh, my long eight-minute thoughts on something that should have taken me 10 seconds to explain. Three holes and a, a rim on top that you can easily plug up down to two or three holes or one hole, whatever you need. I'm not making any sense anymore. There you go. Not a sim simple but ingenious little idea, I think.